Hey guys, I'm out here hunting stone golems, so I thought I'd share a couple of tips on how to defeat them easily. So let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need an iron mace, preferably level 4. You're going to need the best shield that you can make with parry on it. At least a banded shield, or an iron buckler, or a silver shield. And for food, you're going to need two health foods, the best you can make obviously, and one stamina food. And it's always a good idea to bring along some potions like healing meads and stamina meads. Okay, we're back in the mountains, and when you're looking for stone golems, you'll often find them near these cabins, but they do spawn all over the place. There is one now. You can see if you find a pile of weird rocks like that, that is a stone golem. Now, there are two types of stone golems. There are smashy stone golems and stabby stone golems. This one looks like a smashy... Where is he going? Oh, he probably found something. I think it was a wolf. They don't like wolves. Okay, so you can see this guy's got some big boulder hands. He has two different types of attacks. A slow two-handed attack, like this one, and a one-handed attack. So what I like to do is I like to parry the one-handed attacks. The two-handed attacks have a bit of a delay and they're too difficult to time. I missed that one too. I'm just going to avoid that one. So what you want to do is you want to time it so that you raise your shield quickly like this as soon as he's about to hit you like this. There we go. Just go in there and smash. Avoid that. Just hold up my shield. There we go. I'm done. Easy. Okay, let's look for another one. Okay, I found another one. And I think it's the stabby kind. Oh, and I can see there's also a wolf there. So if I can wake him up... Yep, he's going to take care of that wolf for me. Annihilate. Awesome. Again, this guy has two attacks. I'm going to parry the stabby attack. There's the swipe attack. Now... It takes a bit of practice getting the timing. But once you get it, it makes it so much faster to kill these guys. And that's it. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find one more before it gets too dark. Okay, I found another one. So what you can do is wait for them to start wandering around and hit them with your mace while they're wandering around. Usually they do two or three attacks and then wander like that. So we're gonna let them attack. There's one, I'm just gonna block him, two, and he's wandering, so I'll hit him if I can. Nope. One. Two. Wander, wander. So we will hit him. So I'm just holding up my shield, letting him hit me. And that's it. So it's a little slower, but it's a lot more reliable. If your shield skill is not high enough or your shield is not all the way leveled, you might find that he staggers you, so if that happens and that method doesn't work, then you'll just want to run around and avoid his attacks as best you can. So I have just a couple more tips about stone golems. The first one is bone mass. If you use bone mass, the bone mass ability, they do a lot less damage. So that is definitely recommended, especially when you're getting used to fighting these guys. As soon as you see one, just use your bone mass ability. The next tip I have is dig a pit. If you're out mining and you just don't wanna to have to deal with these guys, or if you're having trouble fighting them, what you can do is just run a short distance away. They're pretty slow, so it's not too hard to do that. Let me find a good spot. And I'm gonna dig a pit straight down into the ground. Hopefully before he gets here. Nope, not before he gets here. Well, good thing I used bone mass. Oh, uh, there's silver right here. Wow, that was kind of lucky and unintended, but okay. So I'm just gonna keep digging down. 
He is hitting me a little bit, but that's okay. If you can run far enough away, you can actually kind of lose them and then dig your pit in peace, but I'm okay here. You can fast forward this part if you want. All right, so this pit is plenty deep enough. You can see he's just staring at me, can't do anything. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna get my harpoon ready. Hop up here, ow. And I'm gonna harpoon him. Doot. Just like that. Oh, come on. There we go. Now, obviously, usually you wouldn't want to drag him into a pit with your silver, but you can dig a separate pit and put him in there. And once that stone golem is in there, he will stay there forever. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful and good luck out there. Bye. Thank you.